I had the best time last night. I cannot <laughs> wait to talk to you. I had <laughs> the best fucking time That's last that. night. That's not good. What is your problem? What is she doing? Christ, fuck me. Fuck my life. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, I have something that we can use to start. What? <gasps> what is it? Pants. Pants. Oh my god, Arwen. Love that you hung It looks like it says ants. Ants. <laughs> that was nice. What a nice start. Thanks, Arwen. Thanks, Arwen. Way I'm glad you Way to kick it. it off. Thanks. Well, we're still in our houses. It's like a revert back to 2020. Yeah, but not. Not at all. No, at it's the same temporary. Time. I look like Sally Jesse Raphael, I just realized. My red glasses. Um, Remember her? Yeah, of course. Can we talk about her for a minute? Is she is she still with us? Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. Arwen's going to research. She was really ahead of her time. When I was sick, and I would always watch her during the day. Oh, sk- she- sick, home from school sick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's she is still with us. She's one of my daytime us. go-tos. Oh, good. She's still with us? 89 years old. Wow. Oh. And she just had a birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, Sally. Feb- February 25th. Oh, Pisces Happy birthday. Girl. Happy 89. birthday, Sally, Jesse. Well, those glasses are like hers. They are <laughs> identical. I just found a new, um, I like to buy my glasses in packs on Amazon. Yeah. I know Amazon's the devil, whatever. Uh, yeah, I found this new shape. I'm really into it. And they come, you just, it's a surprise pack of colors. You never know what you're going to get. And this month I got Sally. All right. <clears throat> Well, Woo. I mean, I say take the floor, Kate. Launch Me? right in. You had a boy. Did I have fun last night? I'm gonna just I sit had back so and listen. So many revelations in a span of two and a half hours. I went to see Madonna last night. When I say I had the best time, that's an understatement. Anna and I, when we were driving home, we looked at each other and said we both needed to have fun because we haven't had fun in ages, and life has been really stressy and. That was the first time where we could just release and have a good time and be present. And it was such a good show. And one thing, when we got to the concert, we got to our seats and bless her heart, Arwen, she did start around 9.45-ish. Right? She started on time-ish for Madonna. So exactly. And so that puts everyone in a good mood, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So like the audience was really with her and I think she liked us. I really do. I think she was enjoying our our, uh, our our feedback to her, which makes me happy because the last concert I went to, she didn't like us at all. We get to our seats <clears throat> and I'm looking around. We have about like 20 minutes until the show starts. And I'm like kind of like taking in where we are. I'd never been to the forum before. That's where she was playing. Well, you don't and go to concerts. So you were probably like, is this what it's like? I thought the forum was downtown. <laughs> I was like, no, it's in Englewood. <laughs> I had never so been. So people gather to listen to me. Huh. Yeah. I like the forum. It's really intimate. It's amazing. It's better than the Staples Center. Or what is it called now? Cryptocurrency? What's it called? Crypto. Okay, great. What an awful name. But yeah. Um, so I'm looking around and I say to Anna, it's an older crowd. Oh, Kate. Because it was an older crowd. <laughs> Hold on. No, and Anna says, yeah, Kate, because we're older. Yeah. And that was my first realization where I thought, oh, fuck, I am middle-aged. I may not feel it, but that's what I am. And I felt less, I felt less alone in that realization because I'm looking around and it, I'm like thinking, oh, we all grew up with her. It's like, nostalgia. We're all like, yes, big time. It was a trippy realization, but yet comforting at the same time because you know you're not alone in that. She kicks off the show. I mean, she was pumping out the hits. Back to back to back to back. I mean, her dancers, they're always insane. She has the best dancers. And I realized I know every single song, every single lyric to every single song this woman has ever put out. Yeah. I mean, I caught myself singing along to every single song, understanding every intonation, every inflection. It was, I was like, wow. Every background part that you knew was about to, yeah. All of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought to myself, I'm so grateful that I was born when I was born to have experienced that music in real time. When I was five years old, I remember it was a Saturday morning and I was watching my cartoons and I think I'd put on MTV because the Jetsons hadn't started yet. 
And that's where I first discovered Material Girl. And my jaw hung open. Prior to Madonna, I was all about Michael Jackson, like straight up Michael Jackson girl. He was my first concert. Like he was my hero. But I discovered Madonna pretty pretty close to following him. And I re- remembered that memory last night. And I, and I couldn't make out the lyrics so well. And my dad had woken up and he said, hey, kiddo, what are you watching? And I said, dad, I just discovered this girl named Medusa. And she sings this song called Cheerio World. Can I get the tape? Totally didn't know the lyrics, but I was like, I grew up with all of this music that came out in real time. Like when she sang Vogue, I was like, I remember when that song came out. Like Human Nature, I remember when that song came out. Erotica, like Burning Up, like all of this stuff. And I was just really grateful that I'm of the generation to have had her be my idol. Yeah, your current day. Right. And so here I am at 46 and I'm looking around at all these other people in, in the age group who are also older having the same feeling. And I was like, oh, that's really wonderful. Oh, Leisha, it was so good. She sang Live to Tell. She gets up on this platform and the platform's going um, above the stage. She's super high up. And as she's passing portions of the concert, these scrims are coming down of all of her friends that passed away from AIDS and people she didn't know. So you have like Keith Haring. And she started to cry during Keith Haring because it's a huge scrim, like ceiling to floor. It's like a hundred foot scrim of him and all of these other people. It was such a gorgeous tribute. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And when she did Vogue, she there. First of all, her lighting designer, Jesus Christ, this whoever did that. Who I don't think it mattered where you sat in that theater because Mm -hmm. that lighting design was all encompassing and outstanding. I think from any angle that you would be in if you were there. And with Vogue, she had these all these flashes of scrims and whatnot uh, on the scrim, like all these flashes. And uh, she was doing this like queer tribute from like the, from, uh, from, you know, the, from, um, from like Stonewall and from all the dancers that she had from the truth or dare video Mm -hmm. that we all got to know and love. And just like the, the, the history of really like gay culture that created her essentially. There's a lot of tributes to things, which I respected. I, when I'm 65, I hope that I am in half as, half as decent shape as she is in. Because if you saw the moves she was pulling, and a lot of the dancers, like you could tell the choreography, it was really respectful, very well done. They were kind of guiding her in certain things because let's face it, like you can't do things that you could do when you were 25, but she still was throwing down. And I was like, damn, 65. Well, but also why stop? I mean, really. Right. What's the point of why why does everyone think she should stop? It's ridiculous. But the Rolling Stones I don't can think keep she's going. going to. No, I she shouldn't. I, I mean, if she doesn't she want to, to. Obviously, if she wants to stop. But like that it's it's so incredible. It's so inspiring, you know? Yeah, it was and then um I even I appreciate that she sang Human Nature, even though it was like maybe a four because Leisha every she played so many hits. Yeah. But also not every hit did she play straight through, right? So she would do the intro, a verse, and at the what is it, the chorus, like boom, like she'd find the perfect place to mic drop and jump into something else. So with human yeah. nature, I was like, Oh my God, thank you. It's like one of my yeah. favorites. Bedtime stories. People slept on bedtime stories. It's amazing. And so she played a verse and a chorus and then she dropped it and then jumped into another song. That's great. But I was still I, happy. She, she did. did. She played guitar for like two of my favorite hey, songs. She always plays guitar. I got to <laughs> so say, great. I know I slammed it before. She sang Burning Up on guitar because the way her show started, it was a real retrospective. And she, it was, I don't want to say it felt like a Vegas act because I don't want to be, make that insulting but she was speaking to the audience I think more than maybe she ever had and she was like listen this is like my retrospective you're going to see things and you're going to see my journey and it's going to be personal and blah 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 so she was sort of doing things in a chronological order her music and so Burning Up kicked it off essentially uh, maybe it was the th- third song in and she tells the story about playing at CBGB's that was her first show so she grabs this electric guitar and starts playing Burning Up and it killed that's so awesome. Killed. Then later on in the show, 
she kind of broke it up a little bit here and there, but it was pretty linear. And then towards the end of the show, or no, I'd say in the third act of the show, she pulls up an acoustic guitar and does express yourself acoustically. And there was a girl in an aisle and I could hear her and she's like, acoustic? It's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> And it was actually really good. And I'm not a fan of Madonna Unplugged, but you heard the lyrics in a different way than you would have had it been like a whole showboaty thing. And the way the show opened was uh, she has Bob the Drag Queen. Do you know Bob the Drag Queen? Of course, Lynch? yeah. Right. He won one of the, um, he wrote, we run a RuPaul's Drag Race season once. Yeah. Holy shit, Ru uh, Bob the Drag Queen. Like the charisma oozing off this. You and I were with him at the glad awards what stage we were he, yeah oh my god bob the drag queen he yeah. was in the whole thing and he sort of opens up the show and walks through the audience and he's uh part of it and every in like a bunch like he's sort of like the intro and the outro of songs and he's incorporated into the numbers outstanding mm -hmm. yeah outstanding. he's like a master of ceremonies for it the master of ceremonies yeah i think um yeah, I think the, the crowning achievement of the evening was Anna getting a straight man kicked out of the concert because the straight man hit a gay man. <gasps> what happened? So where we were sitting, um, we were at the end of the aisle, right? We were the last two seats at the end of the aisle, so we could kind of stand in the aisle. And on the opposite, and past the little walkway aisle in the next section was this straight guy and his girlfriend, this big, beefy-looking asshole. <laughs> no, he really was. I mean, he, he, he represented someone where it's like, where were you January 6th? Like he looked like that kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And um, we noticed that like throughout the night he'd grab his girlfriend and like force her to kiss him and like put her in like these really like aggressive embraces. And I think she was just there to enjoy the concert. Anyway, not our problem. It was just something that was right in our face. So we couldn't help but notice. And uh Right around the time she was doing her acoustic uh, express yourself into La Isla Bonita, there was, um, you know, there's tons of gays around us, right? Like it's, 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 it's gay central. And uh, a guy in his aisle, I think, had like gotten out to use the bathroom or get a drink. And when he tried to go back into the aisle, he was, the straight guy was block and his girlfriend were blocking the pathway to get into the aisle. I don't know what the straight guy thought this guy was doing. But the straight guy basically grabbed this guy by the neck and threw him into the ground and the guy went flying into a row of chairs. Are you kidding me? I'm dead serious. And of course, like everyone sees what's happening. No one wants to get involved and no one wants this to like disrupt the performance or their experience, right? So no one's saying anything, but Anna sees it. So Anna goes over and she grabs an usher and she's like, this guy just like, there's a fight going on. You should go check this out this old fuddy-duddy usher and he comes over and he's like, what's going on? And you can't hear him because it's super loud, but you could see that's what he was doing. And the usher's trying to like figure out what's going on. And Anna is like, this guy hit this guy. Like he needs to go. And so the usher went back. He grabbed a security guy. The security guy came over and Anna again said to the security guy, this guy hit that guy. He need, you have to do something about it. So very long, dramatic uh, story short, they kick the straight guy out, right? They kick, and, the girl, and then the girlfriend stuck around. She's like, I'm not leaving, I'm staying. And she got pissed at her boyfriend. And then the straight guy came back and kind of grabbed his girlfriend and, and like basically pulled her out of the show, uh, or pulled her out of the seat. And then he came back a couple seconds later because I guess she forgot her purse and Anna grabs the security guy again is like, this guy is now like grabbing his girlfriend and throwing her around and she, he's hit this, he hit this man over here. Like you have to kick him out. So Anna got this guy kicked out and the, and the, and the man who was assaulted was kind of looking around this whole time, shocked that like no one was coming to his defense. And I think Anna and him clocked eyes and Anna was like, yeah, I saw the whole thing. Like, and 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 so he came up after afterward and he was like, hey, thank you so much. That was fucking insane. But first of all, that's why would you do that at a Madonna concert? Why is that guy even at a Madonna concert? It sounds like he has it issues. It was insane. Like Madonna was built like the gays built Madonna. That's our safe space. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> 
So to see this guy fucking kicked out was fucking fantastic. That's a terrible turn to the night. I know, but good for Anna for getting this guy kicked out. Oh, yeah. She was the only one that like did like everyone else was staying out of it. And she's like, and you know, came over and got herself involved and got him kicked out. I'm so I'm so happy for you and proud of you. Oh, that it was you, you fucking went. fun. Like just Should a release. do it more often. Feels good. Oh, it felt so good. Anyway, highly. I mean, I feel like you're like even your spirit is different. I haven't done. I haven't been out of the house in ages. No, I know. I mean, I mean, it's just been, as you know, it's been stressy. There's been a lot of stresses. Yeah, but I like I like that you. It. Well, that's why you do things like that because it brings you a lot of joy, and it that's what life is all about. It was amazing. So, if anyone at least you go see Madonna, you should go get tickets. I've seen her five her. times. I should go see her six love, times. It's really great. Yeah, I love her, and I I'm really happy to hear that she is doing songs like front to back because sometimes with her hits she'll do like the medley thing. Nope. You know she threw down. Um, she doesn't always do that, but like, yeah, I'm I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. Didn't get tickets this time, but I'm happy you did. And that's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Um, so I just want to point out that because we're on video and I was like, oh, God, there they are. My my niece, Ione, when I was just back in Nebraska, we went to get our nails done. Did I talk about this last time? No. Okay, good. I need to address it because every time we I go there, we go get our nails done. It's a thing. She loves to get her nails done. She's like nail, just she loves them. She like designs them finds them on TikTok, goes, brings pictures. Um, and we do it every time. And this time I was like, what should I get? And she was like, get French tips. So okay. me, Le- I, me, I have French tips. And it's, you know, the first day I did it, it was really, they were pretty. And now they're growing. Let's see and I'm going to see her in a couple of days. So Can I wanted to it? like keep them as like, Can to show, show her I kept them. Can you show it? And everyone in my life who has seen me in the last week is like wants to throw up. I saw you yesterday. <laughs> I didn't notice your I didn't notice your your fingertips. Let, let me see. Well, anyway, I just want to in case anybody saw them and they were like, "What the?" I'm aware. I'm aware. I don't think anyone's noticed, Leash. Okay. Also, it's kind of hard to pick up on fingertips in this. Not, not if you're not if you're looking. But it's I, been. I've, I'm just telling you. All my friends have been like, "That's disgusting." When it, when are those coming off? Like, what's what's we going on? We were around each are other yesterday. Okay? I didn't notice it once. Well, we were trimming trees, so my hands were we like sure busy. Were, but I got so you, you want to tell of everybody water? about? Do you want to tell everybody about our? Um... Oh wait, I can I talk what? about my musical weekend? Yeah, you saw your uh, Japanese punk band. Okay, so. It was a couple of days before you went to Madonna. I this appeared. Um, was it so? Katie, my manager, I think sent me the video because the drummer of this band is so incredible. That's and how you discovered the band. I believe so, or okay. I sent it to her. We, we can't remember who sent who, but I think it doesn't matter. There's a there's a a video that sort of went viral. Um, the band is Obotoki Beaver, and if they're on tour right now. And it is, I don't even know where to start. This is how excited I am. So the drummer's incredible. I see this video, I'm like, oh my God. So I start following them for the last year. And I see that they're coming to town. And I was like, Katie, oh my God, we got to get tickets. She was like, get tickets. So we like, I get tickets. I'm like, Kim, on Friday night, we're going to stay up late. We're going to see the show. She's like, I'm all in. So it's downtown. Um... And I don't know much about the band, you know, apart from what I've seen online. Do you know their so, music? Or you just like the drummer? Like I said, like on, I see, I watch their videos online, but I haven't like, I haven't Listen like put Spotify it in my earbuds on Spotify. No, I, I'm right. not that far yet. All right. So we show up, we, we meet early for drinks. We're at the show. We kind of get there too early. I'm, I like, there's two opening acts. And you start to think like, because I was telling them, like, they're not going to go on until, like, 10 or 11. But we're, like, we're all in. We're, like, no problem. So, like, the two bands go through. And everyone's great. The, the crowd is, like, the coolest, like, a little bit skews a little older. But, like, oh, just the, okay. the fringe of the, just, like, 
edgy. It just was a great crowd to be around. You were like, I am so excited to be here right now. Like, it felt like you were a part of something that only who was there knew about knew about this band. You know what I mean? When you're like, yeah. oh, these people know this thing, and thank God I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And how did I fall into this? I feel so lucky. Okay, so we fi- we find like our way to the bottom of the, the you know near the stage, and this band comes on, and I'm going to just say right now, it was the greatest musical experience I have ever been through. Really? Damn. It, this band was so far and beyond talented and different and eccentric and clever and their musical genius, each player and lead singer is off the charts. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Wow. And the three of us were standing there and we just kept looking at each other and like hitting each other. Like, can you believe what you just saw? Mm. Like, and we went, so they they do this thing where they freeze frame sometimes between songs and then they all like stare at each other. And then all of a sudden they like come in and play the, they're, they're so connected and so talented. I cannot stress enough it's punk music and it's, you know, if it's too loud, just wear earplugs, but go see this band. Like they're on tour right now, like in the US. Like I highly recommend it. For Say like, the name of the band again. I believe it's Otoboki Beaver. It's a great, great name for a band. Um. Anyway, I, ju- I just want to d- just push them because I was just floored at the talent. They're I'm glad so- you had fun. Yeah. And then, so we were all leaving... And just like, we just call, we kept calling ourselves lucky. We're like, we were so lucky to be there tonight. Right. You know what I mean? You know yeah. that feeling where you're like, of course. wow, sweet. That's how we felt last <laughs> night. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I'm so glad you had fun. Look at us with our uh, two fun nights out. Sing music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's nothing better, really. What did you want to... Oh, oh I sh- wanted you to talk about, because you've for years have slammed my tree trimming. I'd like you to now take well, it all back. Well, I don't know about and- slamming it. Maybe the <laughs> slam just came from trying to understand it. <laughs> I didn't really know what tree trimming meant. It was one of those things where... Yeah, okay, so you didn't know, know what, what it meant. Means, really. Like, do you trim well, a branch? Do. do you pull off a leaf? I don't get it. I didn't... I didn't yeah. I didn't get it. So you taught me... Thank you for admitting that. You taught me the joy of tree trimming, and about ten years ago, you uh, came over to my house and you you assaulted my lemon tree. And <laughs> well, that's I what you called it upset. then, and now you have probably another way to put it. Well, I remember in the moment I was very upset because this tree was looked very sad after you left. But I will say, six months later, it was the happiest thing I've ever seen. And in this new house, the trees need some love because. Um, of all the construction, and we have a few citrus and also trees the, that need. They, I think they've been sitting there just sort of, you know, Ahmad's getting by. Been great. Ahmad's been watering them. I water them yeah. all the time. But yeah, like they haven't been trimmed. They haven't been pruned or anything. And so I said, hey, Bonsai Haley, can you come over and uh, work your magic on my trees? Mm-hmm. So you showed up, you brought your tools, you set up a ladder, and we went to town on three trees. And that's I right. And say, I taught, but not only that, I felt like a, you, <laughs> I felt like a teacher. Me. You did. You felt, like, what is I it? A botanist? You. Is that the right word for it? Mm-hmm. Sure. Botanist, I mean, we're like pushing it, but an arborist. I yeah, I'll take it off. Great. I'm an you arborist both of those botanist. <laughs> you showed me because when I was looking at these trees over the weekend, you know, when, when trees, they get those little like green sprouts on the branches and you think, oh, it's healthy. I call them spuds like on a potato, but I don't know what the technical term is. Well, my instincts were dead wrong because you said these little spuds that you think are so pretty and healthy take nutrients away from the tree and the branch. And I was like, no shit. And here I was going to leave them here last mm-hmm. week because it looked like the tree was in a good good mood. So we took yeah. those off. You think like, oh, it's green. It's happy. No, all those yeah. little things are like sucking the life out of the tree. Right. When it really wants to make, especially a fruit tree, it really wants to make fruit. It wants to put all its energy into this. Right. beautiful little creation it's trying to make. And these little things all up and down the trunks are like, nah. <laughs> I look at them now as like little. <laughs> 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 
It's like Gargamel. <laughs> yeah. So there's that there you had thousands and I was like now and I know you what's funny is because you're so OCD and like you like everything clean and minimal. Like you're just like that kind of person. Like now when you see one of those. I was like now it's a fun thing when you walk by you can be all boop. You can just like flick them off. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're never going to let another one live. I know you. They look so happy these trees. Mhm. Oh yeah, so so I taught you that. I also taught you like you taught the me main trunks, of- how to like follow the main trunks, and then you see like a little side trunk trying to do a thing. That right, you can and tell I the thought trees, that was like, a bad I guess, thing. I thought no, you the weren't little- supposed to do that, and no. you said you could. Yeah, you want to keep like the strength in the main trunks and the main branches, and so whenever you see something trying to like do a side project, yeah, yeah, the tree also doesn't want to do that. So like, if you keep like the main source of your like. Uh, nutrients and um, I, I don't know, just like the life force should be in the main part of the tree, and then your get your tree will double in size probably in like two years, and um, produce a lot of fruit. Yeah, no, you really came in and saved the day. And yesterday. it was funny because I like when I, I knew like I knew I've learned this stuff over the years, but um, it was kind of fun teaching you. I felt like we were like great. in a school a school outing. <laughs> I was all, and about you're like it. a little kid. I'm like, go, come over here, Kate. Let me show you. Yeah, this. no, you're, and you're, you know what? <laughs> and you're a good credit, student. You're a very good teacher. Oh, like, thanks. You explain things very, very well without um, over explaining and making it. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't need to mansplain it. And no. then the other thing was, I was showing you the shape, which is the fun part, the yeah. bonsai part, which is like you look at it from all angles. I was like, when you're standing, so you had, so by the end, you never want to just do it from one side. You got a circle, and then you see, and you were like. Right. By the end of the day, you're like, you know what? That one over there, it actually is bugging me. <laughs> Unless you went back around. But you th- at the first turn, you liked it. By the end, you were like, let's get rid of that one. No, I totally understood. Mm-hmm. The only thing that made me a little concerned was you up on a ladder. Because I know you and I ladders don't have concerned. a good success rate. And we're not that good. worried me. So I was always Yeah, you were sweet. You grabbed you. me. You held my, my I was always holding your lower back. Ladder. Just mm-hmm. I didn't want... Or Thank I was like you. a little few feet away just in case something happened. I could like rush in and grab you because that makes me nervous. I agree. And thank you for looking out for me. You're welcome. Um, but it was really fun. And I felt like when I left, I felt really good about your three trees. I thought when they looked left, great. I what did really Anna good. say? I've been actually thinking about it for days. I'm like, I wonder, when Anna came home, was she like? I, I, she doesn't. There's two things that Anna, and she's very open about this, so I can say it publicly. Two things she doesn't know anything about. Plants and rugs. Like those are two things where you don't come to her and say, what do you think? Like she okay. just doesn't have, she's not good at either one of those. Um, so, but if I point something out, she'll be like, oh yes. So she didn't notice naturally because that's not where her eyes go. But when I said, hey, look at the trees that Leisha helped me uh, trim and, and make pretty. And she was like, yeah, I see a difference. She's like, they look really good. And she's okay, like, they get a great. haircut. And she kind of walked around. I think it was the maybe the orange tree because the orange tree really got a haircut. And uh, and she said, yeah, this, she's like, this looks a lot better. She's like, oh my God, that actually looks really cleaned up. It needed it. Okay, great. I've been no, so she's curious. Into it. Okay, good. No, she was into it. And then I, I do think it'd be fun if you took a picture. You're probably taking a lot of pictures right now because you just moved there, but it, actually, it's kind no. of fun. Like my orange tree, when I look back, from when I bought my house in 2012, it was literally half the size. And it's so fun mm. to like. I should take a Because you don't notice it over time. It's so slow. I think I've just been noticing all of the construction and. Uh, I know. I, I wanted to feel seen this weekend, this past weekend. So I put on what the money pit. What does that pit. mean? I wanted to feel seen. I just wanted to feel like, I just wanted to feel like someone understood what I was going through. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I, Two so weeks. I, so I put on the money pit <laughs> and, I, and I felt so seen. Mission accomplished. The best. It really, it Shelley really Long. Hit. Like nobody's better than Shelley Long. Nobody is better than better that than woman. Sh- Walter. <laughs> oh my God. Walter Fielding. Carol Burnett best. and Shelley Long for me. And there's so many though. Oh God. But they're like my top, I would say my top two. It's so good. It's so good. It just felt so good to know I wasn't alone. Yeah. Kate, you're, it it's good really scene. been a minute. <clears throat> I was laughing <laughs> sure. the other day when we had our business call and Katie was on the phone and she was like, but you've, how's the house? And you're like, ah, oh. <laughs> you know, like, and she was like, no, but you've, no, but you, but you're done. You moved in. It's, you're like, it's not nope, done, Katie. it's the outside. 
the outside. No, <laughs> it's like no one understands like, until they come here and then they see it and they say, oh, oh, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get well, it. you're also the person who's trying to get everything done. No, like you're I'm just not trying gonna, to get some like, people a would take their done. time. Well, no, mm. this this isn't like let's take our sweet ass time. This is like there the things that we're doing are the things that need to be done. Eh, the, no, no, are you kidding? I need a front gate. I need a driveway. Like these are not like negotiable negotiable things where you're like maybe one day. It's like no, we need that shit. No okay. way. Well, I'm glad you had fun this weekend. It's nice to see you le- have like a little last levity. night. I had fun last night. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. And she had really, did you get some merch, Arwen? You didn't buy merch? That line must have been hours long. How long was it? The line? No. No, the line wasn't crazy. At least when I went. Like, the exit that we went out of, there was like no line when we were leaving for merch. But I have some Madonna merch, so I just didn't Mm. feel like I needed. I didn't have any Madonna merch, and so I thought, I'll throw down this time. And I was debating between, I got the Who's That Girl tour and Anna got blonde ambition nice. I was debating between sizes I asked the guy I was like can I see a small and the medium just to see the size and this girl came up to me clearly is a stylist who works in fashion and she touches the fabric and she's like you wash that it's going to shrink get the medium <laughs> <laughs> I was like thanks so much respect thank you What? No? Too much? Egg, you're on pants. I hear her purring. Can you hear it? Kim's going to be so happy Peg got featured on pants. Peg. She's a rad cat. She has really solemn eyes. She's like a cartoon. She's adorable. There we go. Um... Okay. Well, Alicia, it was a pleasure. Yeah. I know you're going out of town. I think it's tomorrow. Yep. I leave tomorrow. I'll be gone for a week. Where are you going? You want to tell everyone? Going going to Texas to hang out with my sister and niece. I'm very Ooh, excited about that's it. That's exciting. That should be, I'd be excited We have too. like a really good girls getaway thing going. Yeah. I really want to take Ioni to Paris though. That's like my big, that's my goal. Well, you'll so do So when it. I get my next job, I'm going to treat my family to a Paris getaway. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. I say I when I get that. my neck. I'm saying I'm putting it in the universe. Yeah. yeah Next job will happen. Come. It'll happen. Um, and and you'll be here getting your, getting your house done. I'll be here. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> everyone, this was another. Oh, well, well let's also oh. th- say that we might, because um, you're leaving town. You're leaving town. You're going to be gone for a minute, yep, not for months, it. but you're going to be gone for a minute. Yeah, I'll be and, gone for a minute. Yeah, and we may or may not do a rerun. Yeah, I mean, we to, have to throw them in sometimes. We have. Yeah, sometimes yeah. we need to. Um, so, but bear with us because um, we're going to have new ones coming out soon. Sounds good. Right? Is that good, yeah. Arwen? That's perfect. Pants. <laughs>